guys, welcome back to Halo's Family and today I'm going to talk to you about 10 things that we do not do or buy during the holidays. And so I know sometimes it can get kind of crazy and you know people find ways to save money every way they can and this has really helped us even through the years and so I'm just going to you know share a few things that we do not do or buy. So number one, we do not use credit cards surprisingly enough. We just don't even own them. We don't have them. Um, we've had them years, like in the years past, probably five years ago, but we've learned that we are not good spenders with credit cards. So we just simply just don't have them and we just don't use them. And it saves us a lot of money because we really have to watch what we spend and where we spend our money. So that's my number one. Number two, decorations. We do not buy Christmas decorations. We have before, but we usually wait till they go on sale after Christmas. And then um, if we do want new decorations, actually our kids make them, um, which is really fun for them. It really makes them feel like they kind of have a whole part in um, decorating the tree and it's really fun to see what they come up with. And so um, this year they're doing perler beads or they're also known as melting beads and they've made a tree and a star and a cross and so they've taken all the Christmas colors and that's what they're doing. So that's my number two. Number three, baked goods. I never buy baked goods during Christmas. Um, they tend to be overpriced and you kind of get just a small amount for a lot of money. So I usually try to get started early on and I start probably like right about now which is pretty close to Thanksgiving. I start making, getting my cookie dough recipes ready and then I start making cookie dough and you know a lot of cookie dough can be um, put in the freezer and saved for later on so when you have those events come up you already have your cookie dough made and it makes things so much easier. So that's one thing we don't do. Number four, we don't buy big ticket items. We don't go and buy cars or jewelry or TVs. I know they have great sales. But really, I mean, unless we absolutely have to, we just don't buy that stuff. Because again, you're kind of overspending on maybe something that you didn't really need, but you really wanted. So, um, number five, we do not shop Black Friday. And I know a lot of people do because you can save a ton of money and there's all kinds of great deals. But with those great deals, you probably tend to, you know, buy something that you don't really need. And you're like, oh, it's a great deal. Let me just buy that. And so um, we try to stay away from Black Friday because, again, you kind of overspend and, you know, buy stuff that you really didn't need. And, you know, you're kind of just wasting your money. We do not wait to buy gifts. Um, this is a big one. This has taken me years to learn. We do not wait till December to buy gifts. I started in September this year and it really helps. Every week I just set aside a dollar amount and you know I buy $50 worth of presents or you know I buy one gift that's $50 or something like that. So then I feel like when December comes we're not stretched so thin. We've got plenty of money and um, you know you just you're not stressed at the end of trying to get all these Christmas presents. We just start early. Sometimes we don't always get the greatest deal but again I'm not um, you know not so stressed come December. So um, we and the next two kind of go together. Um, we don't go to the mall um, usually during the holiday season. Um, again, there's lots of great gifts or lots of um, great, uh, there's always a lot of great deals going on. But at the same time, you tend to just buy stuff that maybe you didn't need or you're going for one item and you pick up six more. So, um, we just simply stay away from areas like that. I actually do a lot of my shopping online. So I actually have a list of everything that I want or that the kids want and um, I do it all online and then I know exactly what I'm getting and it gets shipped to the house so I can kind of leave all that temptation, um, you know, over at the mall. But um, we do not take our kids to see Santa. Um, you know, back in the day when, you know, we were kids, you know, people that are 30s, 40s, um, you know, things were really cheap and you get a Polaroid and it didn't seem so crazy nowadays. It's the packages are like 12 to $15 to take your kids to see Santa. Our kids still believe in Santa. We just don't go see him or if we go to events that are in the city that are free, you know, they might see Santa, but 
we don't actually go to the mall to see Santa. Um, we also do not buy an expensive tree. We've actually had, um, before, we've actually had a fake tree and just recently, probably in the last three years, um, our tree, we had to just throw it away, all the like little needles were gone. And so we ended up, the kids really wanted a new tree or a fresh tree. So we started that tradition and you know, we don't go and buy, you know, a huge seven or eight foot tree. We buy just a very small tree. I think it's about five or six feet and um, we keep it all wrapped up. And then when we get home, we unravel it. And it really does look like the most perfect Christmas tree by the time you get it home. So um, that's kind of our tradition. We only spend like 40, $45. And, um, you know, by not buying other stuff, then, you know, we buy just a simple tree. Um, I think one big thing that I have learned from the past is not to buy quantity of, of toys, but quality of toys. Um, I think that is a really big thing. I used to always want to buy my kids like tons of stuff and it was, you know, maybe cheaper items or making sure that the tree looked really full um, with presents and I've learned now that it's really that's such a waste and so we really focus on quality rather than quantity and so I'd rather buy my kids three to four things that they really really love or really really want versus just buying them a whole bunch of stuff that is okay price and you can get a good deal on so we uh, we certainly um, focus on that and then my very last thing that we really you know try to do is we do not stress during the holidays. Um, I, you know, with five kids, life is so unpredictable half the time. Um, you know, nothing ever goes according to plan. And I just go with it. You know, I mean, you just sometimes, you can't stress about the little things and just know that family is there and you guys are supposed to be together and do fun things together. And if things don't go according to plan, that's okay. Sometimes... Sometimes things work out better that way. So we have definitely learned not to stress and just to kind of go with it. But doing all these things too, um, or not doing all these things during the holidays has really helped not stressing because I don't feel the stress of having to buy presents or having to buy this or knowing that we don't have money for this. Um, so this has definitely, you know, helped us not stress during the holidays. So anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed my tips. If you have any comments or anything that you do that I did not list, um, please put it in the comments below. I always like to see what other people um, are doing or not doing during the holiday season. I'm always looking for new tips. So anyway, um, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Bye.